Hello, my name's Sheila. If you're new here, then welcome. This is MIDI SID, a work in progress. Uh, what you need to know is MIDI in, two SIDs, actually modern SID replacements, lots of controls and audio out. The first new thing you'll notice is this lovely faceplate. I wasn't really keen on uh, a clear panel, but my partner laser cut some in different materials uh, and I'm in love with this one. It's partly to make sure that everything lines up, uh, which, <laughs> which it very nearly does. And so now I've ordered what I hope will be the final production PCBs in purple. This lovely 5-pin DIN is like USB for musical instruments. In fact, it is serial, and nowadays things tend to do MIDI over USB or Bluetooth. Some things, like this Daytel MIDI cartridge for the Commodore 64, have uh, three ports. MIDI in, out, and shake it all about. No, MIDI in, out, and through. Some devices just have uh, in and out, some just have one or the other. I like using this desktop MIDI player, or uh, a DAW like uh, Logic Pro. Anything worth its salt will be able to route the MIDI to wherever you choose. MIDI consists of just a few bytes telling you which notes to play and when, uh, and on what instrument, like sheet music. So .mid files are very small and have the charming feature that they sound different according to what you choose to play the audio. That's where MIDI SID's general MIDI mode comes in. While working on this, I've been using some Vintagatan tunes, which sound absolutely beautiful. And recently, Echoes on Stone Walls by Autumn Altair, a very recent album released in MIDI format. As I try those, um, I always find instruments within them that I need to add or work on within MIDI SID. In particular this week I've been improving some of the drum sounds and filling in some of the gaps. We now have the common sounds uh, filled in. And some uncommon ones as well. Those are my bongos. <laughs> Need work. <laughs> I've now added a filter sweep, which has improved sounds like the toms. Um, but my favourite new sound this week is the vibra slap. <laughs> this is a drum exercise that I found online in dot uh, mid format. I'll leave you with part of Jesterful Lambast, a track from the Autumn Altair album, uh, with the audio captured directly from MIDI SID. Listen out for the vibra slap at the end. <laughs> 